Hello and thanks for staying with us. I'm Nkoli Omoutu with AIT News. The need to raise awareness on the adverse effect of mercury on the nervous, digestive and immune system of humans as well as the environment is engaging the attention of the federal government at a workshop in Lagos where stakeholders exchanged ideas for better understanding of the Minamata Convention the Director of Pollution Control, Federal Ministry of Environment, Charles Ikea, said the global concern now is to promote the use of safer alternatives in products and industries where mercury is used, released or emitted. Kidney, heart and respiratory problems, skin rashes, memory and emotional challenges. These are few health challenges which, according to experts, could result from exposure to mercury, a heavy metal used in artisanal gold mining, cement production, and dental fillings, among other processes. Mercury causes cancer, birth defects. We have seen cases whereby lactating mothers that have high concentration of mercury passes this through to passes this to um, to their babies. Infertility. Uh, mental problems in children. Mercury added products include vaccines because they use mercury to preserve some vaccines. And it is now found out that those mercury in the vaccines are also danger to health. People use mercury to, for gold processing. If you know the gold miners, they use that. And for those of you that work in the health sector, if you remember your thermometer, you see some liquid inside. Those things, they are mercury. Signed by 128 countries, including Nigeria in 2013, the Minamata Convention seeks to protect human health and environment from emissions and releases of mercury and its compounds. So far, only 37 countries have ratified the convention. Nigeria's quest to ratify the Minamata Convention necessitated this workshop. It takes an inclusive approach to make sure that this convention gets to every door, it gets to every organization. This workshop today is to build the knowledge of the media and non-governmental organizations so that they can also go outside there and speak with the communities. What quantity do we have? Who is at risk? And so on and so forth. So that profile we assist it's more like developing a national plan that will assist the, the, the government and the people in Nigeria to, on their own, handle these issues adequately. The United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, is partnering with about 30 countries, including Nigeria, for their activities under the convention. Nkoli Omodu, AIT News, Lagos.